Hey folks, this is Ken again from Silly Westies. This is part two. This is my uh, uh, second try on uh, we're talking about scratch building. Uh, of course you'll notice that I've got such a well-organized uh, workbench. Uh, eventually I clean it up. You wonder how I find anything. Um, we're st I'm still working on the uh, uh, unloading loading platform here. Um, uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to glue this uh, one of the cranes down here and uh, sometimes it's maybe not always the best technique but I'm going to peel off uh, some of the uh, painters tape and uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to glue this down. I gave myself plenty of room plenty of room so that the uh, paint won't adhere. Now I'm going to be using the 10X7R right off the bat because I really don't want to hold this very long so uh, I wadded up here pretty good on my paintbrush and uh, again it's going to be off but I've, I've also measured it now if you wanted to you could also tape this thing down uh, so you can see this uh, I've decided to omit that um, sometimes some of the paint will come off of my brush. There's some of the red in here just because I had painted this red and then painted the uh, the base. I probably could have um, left the paint uh, or the base concrete base off of it. Sometimes don't always do as the master says. Don't do as he does. Does, does as he says. Or do as he does. Um, it's already starting to set up here. Sometimes you may give yourself just enough time to work with it, but usually you want to have it setting right into place. Um, not bad right there. Uh, I'll uh, try to do this as, as easily as possible. Uh, this was actually a scale uh, 21 feet between the, uh, the steel piers or the uh, uprights, the bracing. So I want that to hold at a scale, uh, 21 scale feet between them. And uh, try to make sure it's, it's straight. Sometimes it's not exactly straight. And then um, I also want to have the distance here. Because I've, what I've done was is I cut this sign with a, uh, with a speed square. You could do it with a combination square, speed square, just because I'm, I'm in construction. And uh, make sure that this is pretty good. And I have some lines out here where I've scribed, so I'm kind of using those to uh, to go with. Um, then I just put that on there, and you, you'll see a capillary effect. You'll see it just draw the glue right down in there. And then we'll go one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And it didn't hold. Great. Uh, anyhow, it, it also depends on how much that you put in there. If you put a lot extra, it won't hold. Plus, this p particular piece, it may be that it's holding a little bit of uh, extra tension. It's under tension right there. So, uh, uh, or you could do the 1001, 1002. It doesn't make any difference. Usually it'd be a little faster doing it that way. Um, anyway, I hope this is not going to be a blooper here. Um, see, there, I think I about got it right there. Sometimes depends on the on the glue. Make sure that, that there isn't any paint. I'll either take a, a razor blade and I'll clean off the, the extra paint. Um, I'll use this as a sample. That seems to be doing okay. If I have to, I'll go back and wet it up. And that's another thing. Sometimes you can take a bit of little glue and reapply it, and uh, it'll uh, it'll sometimes loosen it up. Now, here's a little bit of that sign that we we're we we're talking about. Well, I got a smaller piece here. We can use that. Taking a straight blade, we'll take this. And we'll drag it like this across the surface, using a pretty good downward and pull. You'll see that that'll remove a lot of that paint from the sign. 
And what will happen is, is uh, now if you're going to glue a piece on here, you don't have to worry about having the, um, uh, the paint in your way. If so happens that you're, it's the side that's the unpainted, then you don't really need to worry about that because that will be the side going down. And a lot of times I use, uh, we glue our structures down, I'll use um, a little bit of um, uh, uh, the uh, liquid nails uh, that's uh, plastic friendly. Don't use the um, don't use the kind that's the straight glue. Use the plastic friendly or the foam friendly uh, glues when you're putting it down. You might want to put a little bit of weight down on it too. Now you can see that's pretty well start, uh, started to stiffen up. I'll come back in here and I'll touch this up with the paint and it just so happens I'm using a spray paint and I spray a little bit down in the in the uh, top and then I'll brush paint it on there. Uh, and then I'll come back in here I'll dull coat this uh, to get rid of that shine because you don't really want that shine. Uh, on the opposite side over here I'll uh, take that tape and I'll put the uh, uh, the opposite side on the crane and all the detail I can add to it uh, more painting, airbrushing, weathering, um, whatever it's going to take to make your model look as realistic as possible, you can achieve this. Uh, I'm not afraid to use uh, knives, razor saws. Uh, we've even got one other tool here that I use. It's not always the best. It's a sprue cutter. I have another one that's uh, put out by um, um, one of the model makers that puts out for narrow gauge that was uh, I think um, oh, can't remember his name anyway they have a real fine uh, for cutting out ladders real uh, real uh, uh, real fine detail uh, it's really handy um, but uh, anyway that's just a little bit of a uh, 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 little introduction to gluing that you can very well see that it's it's very strong and uh, I, I want to make sure that it's built right because most of these live on their side. That might sound very strange, but our, we carry our modules on their side. So these things have to take enormous amount of, of stresses and strains even through most of their time of uh, transportation. Uh, that's what they get a lot of banging in the, in the vehicles, tra trailers or buses that we use. So uh, glad you came out and see us again. I'll... Uh, bringing out some more videos for you to see, so uh, stay tuned.